Fame is crazy. You love it. And you hate it. Me, I mostly love it. But even I can say it done turned me into a monster who lies about every theme. I became addicted to the attention and when it goes away, I do what I need to do to get at it back. But I wasn't always this bad. This is my story of becoming Andrew Caldwell. Hey, what's up, guys? What's up? Happy Sunday. Once again, I'm going back to you guys live right now. Happy Sunday. Um, I got some information I should give to you guys, and I forgot to tell you guys my testimony. Um, I might look horrible, but not for long. <laughs> give me to tomorrow. Everything closed in St. Louis. That's crazy. But um, I, I'm coming to you guys live again because I forgot to say what happened, and um, people that are turning people 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 that are turning in. I got something I should share to you. I got something that I should share to you. Once again, I got something I should share to you guys. Um, Remember, when I start repeating myself, I'm about to lie. The night, be the, that night, it was um, Friday. I went, into, I went into that I went before I got into the ac a car accident. Oh no, not another fake quote unquote life threatening accident. And I wanted to say this, I was not live on Facebook. I was not on the phone at all, not on the phone. Oh, I was most deftly doing something with my phone and I'm trying to cover my ass with this video. And I wanted to say to you guys this, I do not play with God. People may have looked at me as a joke, but I wanted to say this. When I went into the car accident. When I what? And I, I am nervous right now, because I, I definitely want to share this testimony with you guys. This is not a joke, all jokes aside. I wanted to say this, you know, I, I, people say, well, I wanted to say this, that God is good and God is great. When I went into a car accident on Friday, I was driving. Something had told me to stay home. Well, I didn't listen. My guts, and I heard the Lord's voice. He said, stay home. For me being disobedient, I just have to say this. I did not stay home. I wanted to say this now. When I was driving down the highway, the car came directly in front of me. Um, come and found out the car was that he was drinking. When um, when I got when I, when I got off the car, I was hurting bad. My hand was bleeding. My my uh, face was bleeding. You say where did scratch at? Uh, but God. Another major accident. Another bleeding wound with no scratch or scar. And I want to say this too. The guy was very racist. He said, this nigger, this, he said, this black nigger. I guess I thought the N-word wasn't bad enough, so I added on black to it, as if it makes it worse, sir. Just did this. I'm sorry. He said, this black nigger just did this to my car. And let me tell you guys something. I didn't get mad. I didn't get angry. All I said is, I screamed, I said, Jesus, the blood of Jesus, how ya? Thank you, Jesus. I screamed, I said, the blood of Jesus. That's what I said. And the officer said, Mr. Caldwell, are you that guy, Mr. Delivered? Why do the officers say diss in every single one of my stories? Don't believe me. League, run it back. And the officers, when the officers came, and it was like, um, they still got the information. And uh, a black person, this black officer, oh, that's that guy, Mr. Delivered. That's not my name. I said, I, this, I'm gonna tell you what I said. The officer said, well, officer was black, okay? He said, Mr. Caldwell, are you uh, um, you that Mr. Deliver guy? That's all they want to talk about. We talk. I mean, we need to talk about this accident. This is my car that I work hard for. If you guys listen very carefully, you will see what I'm coming to. The guy got out the car and, and started screaming like, "Why did you do this to my car? Why did you do this to my car? You are black nigger. You black nigger. You black niggers doing all that type of stuff." I just I just kept calm. I kept calm. I didn't get mad. I didn't use no profanity. I didn't say nothing. I just said the blood of Jesus. I screamed the blood of Jesus. I got a call on today. 
I got a call on today from the insurance company. And guess what? And guess what? They heard, I heard his side of the story. He said that I was driving two lanes. That's what he said. I was driving two lanes. And I was busy of, um, I was busy with my radio loud. And he's just making them. First of all, I don't drive with my radio loud. They were telling me what all he said. And while I was on the phone, I just could not say something. My, left, my, my lips was like, I was listening. And then I, I heard the Lord's voice said, don't say nothing. Don't say nothing. I wish the Lord would have said that to me right before I got it on this life to lie. I'm like, serious, God, this is a testimony. Yes, on a Sunday. They are open on a Sunday, and they're open on a Sunday. Look it up. Stay for them. But anyway, um, if, if, if it's not just, it just is not, I know I didn't cause the accident because I'm driving one lane. Man of my business, driving, driving, driving. If you guys listen, man of my own business, driving. So I got a call today and said, Mr. Caldwell, we do apologize, but we just, here, we, I'm going to let you guys know the fault. Who fault it is? Well, what well, well, my God, what well, my God. They said it was his fault, not mine. I must think nobody got experience with insurance if I thought people would believe this story. So that's, that's God. I thank God because not just that, I kept still. I be, and not just that because they have to check the police report. You're right, they do have to check the, they do have to check the police report, but they can, they can go by, um, they can go by who said what and, and how it happened. I explained how it happened. Yeah, I explained how it happened. He explained how it happened. They heard both of us on the phone and they determined right there. So I'll be going to pick up my car tomorrow. They already gave me permission to go pick it up and pick it out already. So I want to remind everyone that I got it in two tickets for not having insurance in 2016, which is when I did this live. I thank God because if I, if I just could have kept my mouth, I could have just said something, even though I know I was telling the truth. But the Lord said, hold, if, you, if you just hold your peace and be still. So that's a praise break. Yeah, you're right. That is a pay, that's a praise break. Because no matter what, no, no, the testimony, no matter what I'm going through, I could have lost my life. Because my, like I said, my face was bleeding. I got I was in pain. And I got, you know, I got out and was going to make sure he was okay. But I thank God he called me a nigger. <laughs> he called me every type of word that you name. But I thank God that, that I thank God that I did not lose my cool. I thank God that I just kept, I just hold my peace and let the Lord fight my battle. So if you just hold your peace on these jobs, you hold your peace in the midst of the storms, the Lord said, I will fight your battle. Do y'all know them? Do y'all know me? I want her to let you guys know, my name is Andrew Caldwell. I like to talk and I talk too much. <laughs> ah! But the Lord has shut my mouth. He said, don't say nothing. And I didn't say nothing. Hey, that's a testimony. You guys should, well, you should not be live right now. You should, I don't care. That's a testimony. The testimony is I came out with blood and stuff on my face, blood on my hands, but I thank God that I'm still alive. He got out and said, you nigga. I didn't hear everything. What the hell is going on right now? I went from my bear growl to my chipmunk chatter in the span of seconds. I just thank God. I think, I don't know what y'all dealing with, but this, and when I was driving the highway, he swerved over towards me and I hit the side, I hit the side wall, you know, the wall. Um, the Berlin's that's the what? That's keeping the, you know, the, um, the, um, the highway. That's keeping the highway. I thank God. That's nothing but God. I'm still alive. That's nothing but God. And I thank God that I, 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 I somebody said, I hope you feel better. God got my back. I soaked myself in a tub. I drunk me some cranberry juice. Did I get into an accident or do I have a UTI? I've been praying all day. I didn't get a chance. I can go to, I can go to church, but I promise the next time I make it in church on Sunday, I would dance until the floor would fall out. I would dance until the music stopped. I would dance until the Lord say so. Because I thank God I might look a mess right now. But I, I tell y'all that God has delivered me from different many things. Homosexual is not the biggest topic. But I thank God he delivered me from that. Oh, I thank God that he's delivered me from anything. Oh, I took a hot bath. I took a hot bath. Let me tell y'all. Let me show y'all where I had soaked myself. Um, I'm going to show you guys the stuff that I use. To um, to um, so I soaked myself in the tub, and this, I was hurting. Anybody that's hurting, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna tell you guys what to get. Now, usually, I keep that. Usually, when secret things, you keep it to yourself. But if you want other people when they are in pain, I encourage you guys. I encourage you guys to go and get some of this. Walgreens. I was in pain. Do you know the pain has stopped? A little, it's still aching, it's still hurting, but it's, it's going slowly, it's going slowly. So I wanna tell you guys, go and get this. This right here, let me turn it on the thing. I encourage you guys, 
I encourage you guys to go and get that. Um, I don't have to show my expressions to no one. My what? I just wanna I just wanna let you guys go know if you guys are in pain, if your foot is hurting, if anything is hurting, come go and get this. It really helps. It really helps. It really helps. I'm not I'm just saying. Um, and I can promote any company. I can promote anything that I want to promote. If I'm led by God and if it helped me, I wanted to help somebody else. I wish I felt the same way now so I would promote this condo I claim to own. Go to Walgreens. Go to Walgreens. See, I almost used the whole thing. The pain stop work. The blood still works. <laughs> the pain stop works. I said the pain stop works. And we will never, never come back. Come back. On me. <laughs> the pain is gone. Hey. <laughs> I think I got the song. And it will never end. Go my cranberry juice right here. Yeah. That's my cranberry juice. Go and get this. If you guys are in pain, if you guys are aching, I encourage you guys to go and get You can actually feel like, it feel like, when you stay in the water, make sure the water is warm and hot. And then your water is it turn bubbles. It turns turn bubbles. And then you can actually feel the, the pain going away. You'll feel a big pressure first. And then when you get out the tub, get a dry, dry towel and just damp yourself. And then lay down, you'll feel so much better. Am I talking about these bath salts or tipping and dipping? And I praise God. I just want to let you guys know this because you guys are my friends. You guys are my fans. You guys are the ones that support me. You guys are the ones that's keep me active <laughs> but i just want to let you guys know pray for your brother caldwell pray for your brother andrew so he can heal totally heal and totally heal. Woo. totally deliver and i just want to say yes 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 hey <laughs> good night guys i'm coming to you guys live today right now to encourage all my people it's been brought to my attention on several things and i'm going to talk about um, um today my topics it pissed me off. Um, if, if, if you um, don't tip and dip, sip and dip, if you don't do none of that, don't worry about the blogs. Don't worry if I'm getting sued. Don't worry if I'm still gay. Don't worry.